guys welcome to the first edition of sportscast unplugged my name is joel williams uh your favorite tv commentator of course the <laughs> formal to make it three three one Head up! and uh, today i am here with uh, pb ramesh our special guest the head coach uh, for KSEB. Just before I introduce him, let's just introduce what Sports Custom Plugged is all about. We are going to be doing a weekly show regarding the Kerala Premier League. We're going to be showing the highlights. We're going to be talking about players to coaches and so forth. So guys, as always, Sportscast India bringing you exclusive videos, exclusive shows with regards to the KPL. So, my guest for today, PB Ramesh, a very good friend of mine, the head coach of KSCB. My friend, how are you doing today? Yeah, it's, it's a great pleasure inviting me here. So, feeling good. Let's talk about the KPL and football. Yeah, that's nice. You are, you are our first guest. Huh? So, this is uh, something special yeah. huh? that uh, we have thought about you first. Huh? Thank you. That's, that's good to hear from you. The first game against uh, Kerala United. Um, before we actually go on to the highlights, before we do that, okay? Um, how 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 is a pre-match for you as a head coach? What do you prepare? How do you prepare yourself? Just briefly tell us what goes through your mind when you are preparing your team for the game. The most thing is uh, to know their opponent's strength and weakness and how they play and according to that we design the programs yeah we, we we plan ourselves yeah so every week you you prepare yourself differently according to the matches that you're going to play right so for example your next game yeah. you're going to prepare yourself completely differently to how you set up against Kerala United am I correct yeah yeah perfectly perfectly like uh, actually uh, I watched my game and Kerala United game like KCB and Kerala United. After that, I watched Muthu Ten game only. So rest matches I have not seen. I have seen this uh, Kolam and uh, uh, Muthu three times. Yeah. So according to that, we are planning. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's fantastic. So listen, guys. Without further ado, why don't we go on to the highlights of uh, the first uh, first game uh, that our producers will very kindly put us on uh, on now. Uh, so that we can see what happened in that game between Kerala United and KSEB. So, um, as 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 we can see, right, the first first goal by Kerala United, scored by Arjun Jayaraj. I mean, do you think that if they had not given the the advantage, do you think it would have been a penalty? Do you think that would have been blown for a penalty kick? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Because I never felt that it is a penalty. Right, right. Okay. Well, you never felt it was a penalty. Me from the penalty box. Uh, sorry, from the commentary box. Like, I thought it was a stonewall penalty, man. Stonewall. Like, I I really thought it was. But it was a good yeah, goal there it, by Arjun Jairaj. Is... Yeah, that goal by, that goal by Vignesh, okay. Uh, Mohamed Parakotil's desire to get there. Mohamed Parakotil's desire to get into the box and try and win that goal. How important is Parakotil for your style of play? He's a player. Uh, he can be used in any position. Like he can play as a striker. He can play as a winger. He can play as even he has played for as wing backs. So he's a complete player. And uh, he has the um, uh, lens capacity to run again and again throughout the match. So that are the plus points of Parakotel and he, he and he is a good scorer also on time when it is needed with a good opponent he always scores goals yeah so he's a good player very good player uh Ramesh you said he can play as a wing back but we both know that last year he played a game as a wing back look look you're laughing you're laughing he played the yeah, semi final as a wing back <laughs> <laughs> I, but but for that my reply well, for that my reply will be uh, he is a good uh, right wing back but uh, the opponent uh, winger was better than him that's why 
Because <laughs> last year, last year, I think you were losing two or three nil, no? Three zero. In the semi-final against three zero. Three zero. Yeah. And Para Kotil was playing as a wing back, and I was pulling my hair in the commentary box. I could not understand what was happening. Yeah, Para Kotil actually came up and committed. That was the problem. Otherwise, and in two in two tournaments he has played a perfect game as wing back, where we we were the champions in Kochi. In Fort Kochi there was a tournament right. and we sat Pirur, and he played the wing back. And he had an excellent game. That was there in my mind. Yeah, that day it uh, clearly didn't work eh, against. I think it was uh, what was your position, Bo uh, uh, Bosco? Well, Basco, no, Basco. Yeah, your yeah. position Bo was Basco, Basco. No? in the semi-final. Yeah, Basco, yeah. Yeah, last year in the in the semi-final, he was completely outperformed in that uh, full-back position. But um, again, we talked about Paracotil. Um, any any young players from uh, KSCB that uh, you want to uh, you want to highlight, you want to talk about that have potential for the future? What do you think? So right now, uh, one of the best players we have is like uh, Lijo Gilbert. So he was two two man of the match award. He has been the last KPL, and uh, he has selected for the Santosh Trophy team, and he he was. All, and even he was selected for the uh, KB in the Kerala Blasters, uh, like also the main team. Unfortunately, he can't uh, attend that um, the final like camp with them. He decided to come and join back to us. So he's there with us. And uh, we have a few appointments and we will we are planning to take good players. Yeah. So Nevin Charles is there. He is a young player. He also works hard and he, he is a youngster. And uh, he's really young, and we are uh, we are giving him chances, and uh, he's doing good. The last games, he I, I think he may have uh, has has worked much harder in the striker position. Yeah, yeah. We have a goalkeeper also, Shane Khan. He's also really doing good. Mm. Last year he was he was playing till end, so he's a good goalkeeper. Yeah. So you mentioned uh, three players, no? Nijo Gilbert. Uh, Shane Khan and uh, Nevin Nevin Charles. Uh, what can you tell us a bit more about Nevin Charles? I mean, I like this, I know him personally. So actually, according to my my opinion, uh, like uh, he he has good intelligent brain while playing football. He, he reads players. He is turning is good. He is uh, on time. Only problem is uh, he doesn't uh, take shots in the post. Really, he maybe answers. So he's a really good player and he's an and he can come up. Yeah. Upcoming players I'm talking and uh, rest uh, many good players are there. Like uh, Vignesh, he's a uh, great striker, he's a shooter. He has got a good pace in running. So there are good players other than him. But I'm telling about the youngsters and the upcoming players. Like they are playing as guests for us. These three players like uh, Nevin Charles, and um, uh, uh, like Shane Khan and this um, what about Nijo Gilbert? They are the guests. And one more one more player is there who is playing uh, uh, in the stopper, in the center defender, center back as center back. Yeah, Shinu. So so he's coming and Shinu, playing yeah. for the first time. Yeah. So he has a good reach and he is very tough and he's very. At the same time, uh, we have a Jinish. Both the both both the center backs are both are good players. Jinish is playing for two years with us, and uh, he is really always deadly minded player. Jinish. So these guys are the upcoming players. And uh, last year, last year you also had uh, Mohammed Uveis, no? who uh, went to Gokulam, I think. Yeah, no? yeah. Gokulam, Kerala. Mohammed Uveis, no? Yeah, he, Mohammed Uveis, uh, Uveis, yeah. Now he's playing for the um, um, Google MFC for the I League. So um, okay, so we yeah. talked about your game already. Um, uh, I I think it's a good time that we also take a look about uh, at the highlights of uh, the other three games, uh, starting with the Sat Tirur game against uh, Real Malabar. 
uh, Sat Tirur beat them 7-0. Um, so let's just have a look at that uh, at that uh, game's highlights now. Please, if our producers uh, will be so kind enough to um, put the highlights for that Sat Tirur game against Real Malabar there. It was 7-0, Ramesh. 7-0. Uh, yeah, yeah. What do, you, what do you make of this game? Did you watch it? Um, I mean, you know, you can see the first goal there, miscommunication with the goalkeeper and defense. Real Malabar is a new team, no? So it's not going to be easy for them, is it? Actually, the first goal, I think the center defender has the clearance was very poor and it, it was going towards the post. Yeah. But just how difficult is it going to be for a new team like Real Malabar to compete against the heavyweights of Kerala football? What do you think? Like, actually, we can't, uh, like, uh, predict uh, this uh, real Malabar because Sad Tirur is always a better team. We have played mm. uh, two or three times against them. They are always a better side. They have good youngsters, mm. experienced players like Calicut University players. And uh, so, they are. whenever we play, they are really tough opponent. In 2017, when we uh, won the championship, we played against uh, Sad Tirur on semi-final. So, the game was 1-1 and draw and it was, like, it's a really tough game, so I always appreciate Sad Tirur, and so that's why we can't tell about the opponent team how how much they are weaker, because Sad Tirur yeah. is a, always a better team. And uh, actually, I have not seen this match completely. And uh, as a new team comes, uh, like uh, they are struggling for many uh, many situations, like many many problems maybe they have then for lack of getting more good players, experienced players. So there may be many factors actually. So, let's see what's going to happen. Uh, a new team is a better opportunity to come and learn and uh, prepare and uh, to perform and develop themselves in the future coming days. It's uh, interesting to see that uh, Real Malaba were actually trailing by two goals to nil after 68 minutes. So, they were, they were keeping it tight. They were defending well and they were keeping it tight. But just as Satirur scored the third goal, the whole house of cards came crumbling down. There were mistakes after mistakes after mistakes by the goalkeeper, defenders, lack of communication. So there's a lot of work for Real Malaba to do in this uh, in this KPL. They lost 7-0. I mean, if you lose by two or three goals, come on, it's 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 fine. But to lose 7-0, how how demoralizing can that be? as a football team, as a player, as a coach. What do you say to that? Yeah, actually, the, what uh, Joel, you, you told perfectly, like uh, the situation is like, uh, it's all depends upon the mind. Like if, if we score against uh, a team, like one goal or two goals, the mentality gets changed. So it's like uh, most of the players think that is enough and it will go like that only. So the same situation has been happened to um, real, real Manabar. Like uh, they have got three goals that all the players' mentality and attitude has changed. Like, oh, oh, there is nothing to do right now. So, so it's like uh, away from our hand. And uh, they maybe have not fought well, or they have been like morally down. So this all this all things uh, it takes times to build up. Like uh, we should there are there is 90 minutes, so we have to continue the match till it ends, and we have to fight till it ends so like uh, that 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 comes by playing again and again and again that man mentality and attitude uh, we have to change like all all our india so like if it, if it is a winning winning attitude also two goals is enough like that attitude is coming and it's a losing attitude we give up because there is yeah. still time to 90 minutes so we have to fight till like uh, that should be that should be given the lessons to the Youngsters that uh, the, the result don't mind on the result. You have to you have to fight till the ninety fourth or fifth minute extra time. That is how we have to. Take I care. completely agree with you. As a as a fellow coach myself, I would not like my team to just crumble after seventy minutes and and concede five goals because let's be honest, Real Malaba here conceded five goals in twenty minutes. They were, they, I mean, it was 2 0 until minute 68, 69. So, I mean, they could have scored a goal and the match would have changed completely again. You know how it works, uh, Ramesh. You know, you're winning 2 0. 2 0 is, is the trickiest 
score in the world. Because when you're winning, you think, ah, we are comfortable, 2-0. But when the opposition scores a goal, the whole momentum goes with them, shifts with them. You know how, 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 how this is. So, um, very interesting point that you mentioned before about continuing to push. Because you never know, right? It could be 2-0, but in 20 minutes, you can score two goals. Look at Satiru, exactly. they scored five in 20. So, uh, that's a good exactly. lesson for the youngsters. That's a good lesson for the youngsters, yeah. you know, never to give up and always to carry on. We're going to watch the highlights of the third game between Aifa and Arikot. Okay, before we watch the Kovalam one, that we, re that we will watch le uh, last. Because those are your next okay. opponents, right? Mutut are your next yeah. opponents, no? So, uh, yeah. we'll, we'll discuss that later. So, uh, if we can just watch the... Um, Aifa against Arikot game. That would be really, really, really good. There we go. So this was a game which there were two goals in the last minutes of the game. Literally two goals in the last minutes of the game. I think that was a goalkeeping mistake. What do you think? Yeah, the, the goalkeeping was really, the goalkeeper was out of position. Yeah, completely out of position. Bad goalkeeping yeah. mistake that you can see there. Yeah, that's another lesson learned no? for, for the youngsters playing their first ever KPL. But like I said, this match saw two goals at the end of the first half and the second half. So it was a bit of a bit of a crazy game, this one. Uh, these two teams are not in your group, right? No, no. We are, we are, these two teams are not in our group, yeah. You are in group. And the most I'm important... As, yeah. The, like, as you told, uh, Joel, as you told, like, uh, the last minutes of the game is always dangerous. So we wow. have to prepare accordingly. So it's like every matches we when we see that it, it happens on the starting five minutes or ten minutes then or second half before the second half. So most of the goals are considering there. So the team could like we have to plan accordingly. Yeah. That's the equalizer there. I think that was another goalkeeping mistake. I think the goalkeeper came out to no man's land. I I I personally believe that. I think if we can watch it again, you can see there, Ramesh. I think the goalkeeper yeah, again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll watch it again. But I think the goalkeeper again makes a mistake. Clear mistake. If we can watch yeah. it again, guys, uh, we would appreciate that because I think it was a it was a bad goalkeeping mistake there. Here we go. Here we watch it again. Goalkeeper comes out, doesn't get it, and the uh, the striker bags in an empty net. I I think two goals, two goalkeeping mistakes. What do you think? Yeah, like uh, first uh, that uh, the defender would have been blocked there because I think the mm. defender of the has fell down there, so he allowed to cross him, and uh, the goalkeeper should ha should not have gone for that ball because he, it was away from him, so he should mm. have stayed on the goalpost. Yeah, exactly. In Spanish, we say "fue a por uvas." He went for grapes. It's a saying like when you come out and you come out to nowhere. Fue a por uva, no? He went out for grapes, for uh, to buy grapes, and this is a second goal. Now, you can see they they turned the go uh, the game around. I think again a good ball, but the goalkeeper again fue a por uva. He went out and made a mistake. I think he he shouldn't have been there. Yeah, if he comes, he should get the ball. That is the important part. Exactly. Otherwise, things will change. Exactly. Exactly. Otherwise, you know, it's, the timing it's, a, of it's an empty net. Look. Yeah, yeah that's true. Mistake. Again, very easy I, I, goal there uh, for yeah. Arikot. Tell me, tell me, Ramesh, tell me. I want to like appreciate that uh, Kerala United goalkeeper, um, like uh, Mithun. So there are a few mm. balls which was, which was away from him. And he came almost near to the center and he was clearing the ball. Otherwise, we'd have scored in the like, counter-attack. So, he did a great job. So, related and to if the can... telling of Mithun. Look at this. Minute 97. Eh? Look at that goal. Wow. <laughs> Minute 97. The post, the... Yeah. Again, I think goalkeeper should have had that first post covered. That's my opinion. That's what I think. As a goalkeeper... Yeah. You cannot be beaten in the first post there. No way, no way, no way. Yeah. 
so it, it was a good kick also that you know always sharp to the corner so yeah i mean would have yeah i think yeah, they definitely. have two blocks it is enough two blocks there are two blocks they can put a three blocks then it would be covered i think so only two blocks in the top of the uh, but i guess I, i mean it was a great free kick don't get me wrong but as a goalkeeper yeah, sure. you do, you don't want to should be cover. beaten in your front post right you don't exactly, want to be exactly. beaten there. should cover ifa ifa has That's... played the qualifying and they are how qualified no ifa yeah 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 they played the qualifiers but this is the first time ever for them in the kpl proper no yeah so they are they are playing against some very good teams so you know the first game they play one point it's a good start yeah and now we are going to watch the last game uh the game between kovalam and muthut which i have to say was a really entertaining game from start to finish it had everything you watched it three times already no yeah exactly the match was really good exactly so um if we could just see the highlights of that game here we go ramesh see nil nil for the first half nearly and then kovalam come out firing in all cylinders again i think the defender there should have maybe he cleared the ball well to the side so that's done but here what's the goalkeeper doing what's the goalkeeper doing there uh, the, the goalkeeper was not because he thought maybe the defender would clear the ball like it was like in between the ball so it was mistaken between the defender and the goalkeeper i think so so i i think that's where a lack of communication happens no you have to communicate as yeah. a goalkeeper you have to be the dominant voice no yeah definitely really he he can watch the game all through yeah we should be aware this was a fantastic goal this was a fantastic run a fantastic, fantastic goal. goal but um it's a fantastic goal, again yeah. for for kovalam to score in the first seconds of the second half it takes a lot of character for mutut to come back into this game the way they did right a lot of character definitely definitely because here we mutut wow last 5 minutes or not and that was ajin tom i think he's an ex gokulam player ex gokulam kerala player playing for mutut scoring that flicked header yeah, he... there that was a superb I goal was, i think he was in, 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 in indian arrows also because he has been on the under 17 camp indian arrows team. yep but that was a really good finish yeah flicked header good finish away from the goalkeeper and in the last 5 minutes of the game so that was a superb superb turnaround but the game between both of them was very even stevens until that time and here we see a big mistake by the defenders one on one and uh easy finish there for sentinel no? who uh played uh the santos trophy i think for pondicherry if i'm not mistaken sentinel yeah calm and he's a he's a he, cool finishing yeah he's a very good player very good finisher <laughs> very good player and uh but again a mistake by the defenders no they bumped into each other yeah, they did not talk yeah i i i i sometimes um struggle to understand the lack of communication between players because as we saw the first goal the goalkeeper and defender did not talk that third goal yeah. goalkeeper uh, uh, defenders did not talk so is that something that you for example struggle with your players also that they have to communicate because before you answer before you answer I know that here in Kerala people are very um soft spoken they are very quiet very gentle very nice people right but sometimes you need someone to shout and to put a little bit of discipline is that something that maybe is lacking in the game here not just in Kerala but in India what do you think like uh, as you said it's a, it's a very important point like uh, in each area there should be a leadership quality players which makes very, mm. very very difference in a game like in the defense there should be a leader i mean the midfield there should be a leader who can communicate well and who, who can talk who can coordinate one 
laughing job come asking to hold like so much of things that when all, all together the talking comes the communication comes it makes a big difference big difference so so because of that there are there are issues and uh, we can we have lots of issues in games definitely that's the problem we have to yeah. we have to ask the players to communicate 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 because as you said we we have lack of communication even and that even is not evolve, we can, yeah, yeah and and that is not just in kpl i see that a lot also in the i league in the isl do you think it's a problem in india like the character of the people here that they don't like to communicate that much do you think that's something innate to the people here i think uh, like uh, it should it can be built uh, by by if anyone who doesn't speak also we if we give the responsibility like you how to control this area and uh, you how to be like this and we how to like mentor him again and again and we can develop develop definitely we can develop because that is very important to take a leadership in each area like defense uh, midfield center forward so so it makes much difference so it can be improved i think so it can be improved by and, uh, again well, and again your next game is against muthut i don't expect you to tell me how you're going to so fc kerala against luka aifa uh, sorry ksb against muthut there you guys are aifa against real malabar don bosco against kovalam parapur against kerala police and kerala united against uh, sai so um your next game is against mutut on friday at 3:30 how how are you um, how are you preparing for that game mutut is going to be different than kerala united aren't they yes as i watched mutut is a really good team with the experienced players so they really playing the last match excellent they are playing very well so they are a re- really good side and uh, uh, like it's a game so it will be a tough game and uh, anis anis is a anis is a, anis i know anis the coach of mutut we have been played so many matches with them for uh, not in this season like uh, before four or five months so that time the, he was playing with the small guys but this time when the team has been fielded for the kpl so lots of good players have been fielded and uh, as we said the communication and that all things are working for that team they are all are communicating much better than other teams i think so so that that unity unity and like that is working so it's they are really a good team let's see we will we'll, we'll also do our best so it's a game we'll i'm sure i'm sure you're going to do your best and i'm sure you're going to prepare your team the best way possible um the game is on friday at uh uh 3 uh, 30 all right so um yeah ramesh all the best uh it's been a pleasure having you here with us analyzing and discussing the games discussing your game against kerala united discussing the team upcoming players looking at the other games you know your opponents mutut and so forth um it's been an absolute pleasure it's been a blast thank you for being the first person with us here on uh, sportscast unplugged and uh, i hope to see you again sometime soon my friend thank you thank you joel for uh, being with me as i always listen to your uh, commentary commentary so i enjoy the way you uh, say it and i always listen it so i appreciate you for doing a good job in kerala and in india so many many of the uh, all over the world are watching so it's really a great thing and uh, and uh, once again i want to uh, say thanks to sportscast who has invited me for this first program so it's really thankful to them and they are doing a great job by by doing this uh, uh, video video program because uh, this is the opportunity there is many opportunity the youngsters to come up and show their potential who are maybe maybe 17 years old or 18 or years old whoever be they can they can show their potential in front of everyone which gives many many opportunities to come forward and play for a bigger 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 stage 
and uh, and one one more key important i want to say like uh, we in india have many good players i i always these days i came to know that we have to improve mentors uh, than coaches also because we have good stuff the coaches are there but the mentorship for a long vision we have been lacking so if we develop we can do much and much friends in indian football well That's ramesh me. thank you very much it's been a pleasure being with you and uh, we hope to see you soon okay thank you very much ramesh joel joel thank you so much bye take care good night so guys this has been the first episode of sportscast unplugged we sure hope that you've enjoyed yourself as uh, PB Ramesh was uh, joining us today at the studio, uh, discussing the games that we've seen and uh, obviously analyzing uh, every nook and cranny of the KPL so far of week one. So folks, my name is Joel Williams. It's been an absolute pleasure being here with you guys today at Sportscast Unplugged. Till next time, see you then. <laughs>